and welcome to Bistec on Ghana Web TV. My name is Na Oyokwoti. Stay tuned as I bring you updates on business stories that trended during the week and an exclusive interview. On this edition of Bistec, we'll be exploring the cost effectiveness and durability of using clay products for modern day construction. My colleague Mauli Aholumega spoke to the Deputy Director of Flexi Clay Ghana, Christopher Kwashi. Here is the full report. As part of efforts to save the environment and also save you money, a company has introduced a high-tech based technology for building materials made from clay and inorganic fiber. Before I introduce my guest, I'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Welcome back from that break. My guest on this week's edition of BizTech is Chris Kwashi, and he's the Deputy Managing Director for Flexi Clay, a company which is into a high-tech product design for building materials made from clay and inorganic fiber. Chris, welcome to BizTech. How are you doing? Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you, Maoli. How yeah. are you doing? I'm doing very well. Okay. Yeah, so tell us exactly where we are. Um, you are in Flexi Clay Garner's office. Okay. And um, we have designed this showroom to show you what you can make with flexi clay. Okay. Now flexi clay is a building technology product that is made with clay. It's 87% clay and 13% inorganic fiber. Mm. Now um, this makes it eco-friendly first mm. of all. It makes it also VOC free. Now if I say VOC free, it's free of all volatile organic compounds. These are compounds found, found in um, materials such as paint and mm. other products used in making like um, tiles and other stuff. So mm. our product makes it free of all these compounds. Okay. Now FlexiClay, as I have a sample here, is lightweight. Mm. So first of all, a big advantage to architects is it doesn't give much weight on your building. Mm. It's, it comes in dimensions, different dimensions. Okay. And the thickness is about 0.02 mm to 0.03 mm. Okay. This comes in, it's very flexible as you can see here. Mm. And because of the product used, it's fireproof, as you can see here. Wow. I can keep burning on this for 30 and minutes it and it's not, it wouldn't burn. Okay. Okay. It's, the inorganic fiber makes it breathable. Okay. When I say breathable, it means it's, it can expand and crack contracting without having cracks in it. Mm. These products come in different forms. We have one, as you can see here, the uh, stone form. We have some here that you can see the leather form, mm. some come in the wood form, as you can see where you're sitting. Mm. And we have the one that comes in the brick form. Okay. All right. Yes. So basically, I just want to understand what went into the idea before setting something like this up. Foremost, I want to understand, was it, did you do some kind of survey on the market to see maybe the building materials that we have locally here, you know, and all that? Yeah. So, yeah. um... We are all trying to save the planet. Okay. That's the first important thing. Mm. So we are trying to use uh, materials that are not harmful to the planet. That's okay. why we went to, we thought, okay, clay is a good. So we went to make, do some research and we found this product that has been on the market since 2008. Okay. Said, okay, then why don't we bring this to Ghana to mm. try it? It has already, is it already in the African market? So we, we, we believe it's a product that will do very well in our climate. Mm. That is why we give you 10 years warranty okay. after installation and then also a 70-year guarantee on the product. I don't think anybody else would give you yeah. a, a warranty this long for a product. <laughs> yeah. So I want to come to a few terms that I learned in one of your books that you okay. shared with me. Uh, marble stone and leather. Someone will hear, well, th these are expensive mm -hmm. terms, and how am I going to purchase these no. and put them in my house? <laughs> no. So um, when I say marble stone, and these, they are not marble stone. They, have, they only have the marble finishing. Okay. And then the leather finishing. Mm. You can see here. Okay. It, it has the leather finish, but it is not leather. It's not leather. Okay. Yeah, it only looks like leather. It looks like wood. It okay. looks like marble, but it is not marble. Okay. These are, um, 
they are not very expensive. I mean, mm. they are, we think it's very affordable because it saves you cost over time. Mm. It saves you renovation cost and it saves you cost from painting. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Even though you can paint over it, as time, as time goes on, when you are bored of the color, you can paint over it. But yeah. these products come in natural colors and they come, some also come in color pigmentation that can be used indoors. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll take you in a tour in the showroom so okay. you can see. But these are very affordable products. Okay, sure. Yeah, so I want to come down to the, the, the marbling and, and the okay. lane and all of that. Okay. Is it, will we say it's cost effective and also, is it also durable? It is very durable. Okay. That's why we give you a 10 year warranty. Mm. And um, cost effective, yes, because over time costs are going to be saved. Mm. People, a, a, a lot of people change their tiles in two, three years because of the scratches, because of the cracks, because of the shake, uh, falling off. Mm. You understand? But these ones are lightweight, mm. so they are able to stick on your wall. And okay. we use a non acrylic adhesive mm. to install. Okay. So it makes it very firm on your walls. You would only have to chisel it off to get it out of your building. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I understand you've been operating here for about four months now. No. So the whole place. We've been operating here for, I think, a month now, officially. A month now, okay. But then the whole place was put together in four months. Okay. And yes. how was the process like for you guys? How did um, you it was interesting. <laughs> we had to bring in installers that have already been experienced to set it up. But um, it was it was, it was quite easy. Mm. It was easy because um, installing flexi clay is very simple. Mm. And then also, it's interesting because... Unlike the tedious process of going through the brick lane and the mortar concrete, this was quite easy to install mm -hmm. as we already laid it on the existing tiles that mm -hmm. were here. Yeah. So it was, it was fun. Yeah. Now I want to come down to money, I mean, which is very important <laughs> for every business. Yeah. I know you've, you've been, you said like one month, you've been doing this for one yeah. month here. Yeah. How's the business model going so far? It's going well. Mm -hmm. We have... Um, are people coming in to buy? People coming in to buy. Okay. A lot of people are very much interested. Mm. So, I mean, with new products, they also have to take their time and research and then, yeah. And as we said, it's um, slightly luxurious. So there's uh, people who also want it, but, you know, but it's, it's, it's moving. We are, yeah. we are grateful. Yeah. And we know very soon we'll be battling with installations across <laughs> the nation because, yeah. I mean, the, the, the demand is it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I just want to ask, um, are you guys, with, with what I've seen, just based mm -hmm. on what I've seen, are you guys into, let's say, someone's old house and they want to, let's say, do away with everything, Definitely. rebuild the entire thing? Definitely. You so can't do we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't rebuild. We will only do the finishing for you. Okay. So okay. if you probably have your, you have your idea, you can get your architects to put everything together. We will come and finish it up for mm, you. Yeah. We will do the installation and everything for you, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so just quickly, I want to come to the environment. Okay. Obviously, we're in the climate change times. Yeah. We want to go for products that are quite um, durable and also yeah. sustainable to the environment. Mm -hmm. How efficient is flexi clays um, items, especially for the environment? So because of the clay product that's used, this is very um, efficient to the environment. Mm. It's green and then it also, it doesn't um, cause any harm to the environment. Mm. It is made with clay, just the clay that we use in our home. So yeah. it's, it even absorbs moisture and has a very good temperature control mm. advantage in your homes because it retains moisture. And it's also, I have to mention, it's very good for dampness okay. in your homes it, because it retains moisture. Mm. It doesn't peel off paints like we have in our, a lot of Ghanaian homes mm. here. Yeah, so this is a perfect product to use when you have dampness around your building. Yeah. I have a very funny question. Okay. Um, so, flexically, are you going to go to the village and sometime? Because there are a lot of, <laughs> a lot of clay mud houses there. Are you going no, to go we to don't, we don't produce here, so <laughs> okay. we are going to. Right. But um, I mean, um, in our social pro projects, mm. I mean, we, we never know, we might do something for them. All right. And, uh, Okay. Yeah, so um, I've been having a very interesting conversation with you, and I'm, I'm sure you take me on a tour yeah, yeah, on how yeah. you guys have to lay out yeah. the tour. Yeah. Yeah. So, Chris, thank you so much. Thank I'll take you a quick break. We'll Let's back. go. Yeah, right. so I've been speaking with Chris Kwashi, and he's a deputy managing director for FlexiClay, which is a company that's into high tech uh, building materials made from clay and inorganic fiber. He's been sharing his thoughts with me on the company and how they are faring so far. And he also take me through how they lay the, the clay in itself and the technology that's got to do with it. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back.
Welcome back from that break on BizTech. Chris is still here with me from Flexi Clay, and he'll be taking us through the types of clay that they lay right here. Chris, thank Hi. you so much. Yes. yes. Thank you so for, for so, still having us. Yeah. As you can see here, you have the different types that I was talking to you about. You have the brick types here. Okay. You have the marble finishing type here. Okay. And it goes all and on. So let's go inside and okay. let me show you. Great. And this is all part of it. Wow. The stone finishing. They all look like and all. you just painted yeah. them or something. No. Right? So these are all clay finishing. Wow. Products. Okay. Please come yeah. in. So this is your entrance? Yes. Okay. All right. So how... Please come in. So, so where exactly are we now? So you are in the... This is just like um, a waiting area. Okay. That we've used um, some of the products of the floors, mm. on the walls, and here as well. And as you can see, because it's flexible, mm. you can bend them over any surface. Yeah. You understand? I'll show you more curves. Okay. And all over here. Mm. That's wow. it goes over. Mm. These are all different types as you feel it. Yeah, you can it's, still feel the, the exactly. clay yes. aspect of it as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So all the way here, you yeah. have different types as I was saying. You have the slates on the floor, you have the ink painting. These okay. ones have the color pigmentation. Yeah, so, so these I wanted ones to are, ask about that. It looks gold yes. and you have black. These inside. ones have the color pigmentation. We have just put this there to, I mean, beautify it. Okay. And you can see it goes on a curved surface. Okay. Like as I was saying. Wow. And we've made, used the same one to laminate yeah. a furniture here. Wow, so you did all this yourself? We did all this ourselves. So wow. this here is just a wooden canvas mm. uh, seat that we've laminated it with the ink painting stone. Wow. You get it. Okay. And you have your wood finishing here. Okay. So every every yes. stage of it has a very different, different kind of feel. Lady. Exactly. Field. Okay. This is like the wood, mm. but very firm on the floor as you can see it. Mm. And you have okay. your slates of Okanos here. Wow. These come these all come in different colours okay. also. So you have this this one comes in this colour, but the, like the wood one this and mm. then the weaving. You have another one that comes in the form of weaving. Yeah. As you can see here. It looks like wood. That is the same sort of thing door. exactly that we've used to laminate the furniture. Wow. You can sit on it, it's very comfortable. Mm. And the same For wood this. weaving feel you have over here. Mm. So right. and you can see our TV stand here has also been laminated with flexi clay. Wow. This here is flexi clay. As wow. you can see, yeah. Very so hard. We've so, just laminated and these it. last very long? For ten years and more. Wow. These last forever. So you wouldn't you wouldn't have to Change keep your, changing no, 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 no. most of the Even style. our reception decks here mm. has also been laminated with flexi clay. Wow. In the okay. stand. Our roof here and whole reception space here yeah. has been laminated with flexi clay. So I'm sure you've had to save a lot of cost having to um, lay all this out and all because of yes. the, the type yes. of technology yes. you're using. This was an old building that we had to re do to this place wow. so we will share the old photos with you you'll see mm. the magic we've done here okay and i mentioned flexi clay is waterproof mm -hmm. so it's perfect for your bathrooms that's it won't bring you molds mm. and then any so you're algae. taking us to one of the bathrooms yes this now. is one of the bathrooms we've done and so all this is made all this clay. is flexi clay wow this over here is flexi clay mm. this was painted as we, I mentioned earlier, you can yeah. paint over. So this was this is off white, but we painted white to make so you see. So any color of your choice that any you want. Any color of your use. choice you can paint. Okay. These ones come in this original color. Mm. You can bath for in it for ten years and nothing will happen to it. Ten wow. years and more, yeah. you are not going to have any. Algae so no need for towels. No. You know that. Once you fix it flexi clay, mm. that's all. Okay. And the doors as well has also been laminated with flexi clay. Wow! Literally everything. We, tr is. we try to tell you it can go on any surface at all, even your pillars, your mm. round pillar. Can be laminated with what flexi clay okay and yeah. you have a bathroom design mm. these are another type of the tiles that are suitable for indoors mm. okay and i see this is this is also included flexi clay yes wow you can laminate your bed so we invite all carpenters all masons whoever <laughs> to come get flexi clay for their wow. products yes your wardrobes can be laminated with flexi clay okay wow it's not going to and, and this the good thing about laminating your furniture with this you're not going to have ants boring holes in it that yeah you i was about always to come see. to that you know insects you know you ins always see for in some your, specific areas yes. and all that most yeah. wardrobes you have insects dripping holes mm. from it flexi clay will avoid all that because of how durable the, exactly. the entire exactly. clay is okay exactly. all right so where next are you going to take us i'm taking you to our cinema room for okay. you to see how all right i mean you can design your cinema rooms this is all ways you can do your haul. This wow. is another way you can just put this behind your office, I mean, in curves to show yeah. you it's how very flexible. Very beautiful design. Yes. 
yeah. how flexible fl this is. Yeah. These are some of the. Wow, you even did this no, to this your is, AC. Oh, this is, this is just. Yes, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. So I see MCM weaving yes. and I see yeah. some sizes. Here exactly. So these that. are the different sizes. These come in. Okay. It comes in there. 1,005 by 600, 600 by 600, 600 okay. by 300. All right. These are the weaving. Great. And these are some of the new products we have for 2021. Okay. You see, these are the travertine finishing. It has the marble finishing. It looks like towels. It, it looks like terrazzo, <laughs> actually. Yeah, it actually see? looks like terrazzo. And this is the wooden feel. Wow. This is the marble feel. Yeah. So I just want to ask, so where mm. do you usually, do you by chance have some of your raw materials from here when you're using to lay the towels and all? And no, so everything right? comes together the mm. installation comes with that adhesive that we all bring oh, okay. in to do everything for you mm. so everything is pretty much simple mm. this is our let me take you to our cinema room Your cinema room okay great wow so <laughs> the tv is yet to come up please come yeah. in it has the whole yes, cinema feel. the vibe wow so just left with the tv to come in but from your roof <laughs> to the this is really nice yes. I mean the design up top and up all top, of that. Yes. Yeah. So and I see the curvy uh, feel, feel exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And all this is clay. All this is flexi clay. Very interesting. Wow. Okay, so you can have this in your home. In your cinema homes, at homes, and everywhere. Interesting. Yeah. And you have more of the brick types. Now the good thing about this product is, even the offcuts can be used as. Um, to, to design. Mm. When I say off cuts, I mean the little pieces that come from the product when you're cutting. You know, yeah. when you're, even you're, when you're laying tiles, yeah. there are parts the that you cut. Of, yeah, yeah. So let me show you what we've done with our off cuts here. Okay, so you don't necessarily do we away don't throw, with there everything. There is zero wastage. Okay. We don't throw anything away. Mm. Even the off cuts, we have designed, uh, so we have used the off cuts, that's the little pieces from wow. the installation mm -hmm. to design this wall. So you didn't waste anything. So we didn't waste anything. You just anything. use the rest exactly. of what you have. So you this one it. is a combination of different types of the materials we have. Mm -hmm. You can see the stone here. You can see the brick in between. You can see the different, the travertine is mm -hmm. all in there. So wow. you have zero wastage. Mm -hmm. So the little, little cuts you have from your installation, mm -hmm. you can even use it to design a wall. You can see here it's yeah. mixed with the weaving yeah. and everything. So, wow. so you fuse this entire building with different, different, different types, types of clay. Yeah. And I see you've created even a little conference, conference table. table. It's all clay. <laughs> is this marble clay. or it's No, this clay. is all stone. Yes. Wow. It's all the flexi clay that has been. So you can have the, you don't need to buy new chairs. You don't, uh, hold new table, sorry. Table. <laughs> so this table is going to be here forever. For as long as, exactly. yeah. Wow. Exactly. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. And then our office yeah. as well. Okay. Wow. So you have the concerto stone here. Interesting. It's giving you the Greek vibes. Yeah. <laughs> and your wood. This is Jerusalem. Texture. Yes. <laughs> <All the way back. laughs> you get it. Yeah. And then you are going to have the leather finishing. Mm. As I was talking. Okay. You have your leather finishing here. Mm. Wow. So. Yeah, Chris. That's basically. This, yeah. Th this has been very exciting. Um, so, yeah. So mm -hmm. I want to also just quickly finally pick your thoughts. I know your business and you've been yeah. running for some time. Finally, where do you want to see Flexi Clay go to? Um, we want to be able to move across the nation. Mm. We want to be able to move into, expand to all regions and then um, save the planet, basically. We mm. want to be able to make sure all the homes are using products that are VOC free. We want mm. to be able to reduce the dampness that people cost, exactly. Save people the cost of mm. overtime, renovations and all these yeah. Um, dampness that ruins the beauty of their building. So, mm. I mean, Flexi Clay Ghana wants to move across the nation, make mm. sure everybody knows us and then gets the clay to build their houses. All right, Chris, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you so much, Wawi. Yeah. So there you have it. I've been speaking with Chris Kwashi, and he's the Deputy Managing Director for Flexi Clay, a company which is into high-tech uh, high -tech design meant for building materials made from clay and inorganic fiber. He's been my guest on this week's edition of This Tech. Many thanks for watching. My name is Maoli Aholimeka. Thank you, Maoli Aholimeka, for that insightful report. Up next is Biz Headlines. <music>
has increased the policy rate by 250 basis points from 14.5% to 17 percent. This comes after the Committee of the Bank of Ghana held its 105th meeting on Wednesday to Friday, March 18, 2022, to review economic developments of the country. The policy rate determines the rate at which the central bank lends to commercial banks. It also influences the interest rates on loans. The MPC is, however, confident that the ongoing discussions would lead to very decisive policy reforms that will address underlying fiscal mismatches and restore some calm in the markets. This, together with the monetary policy decision and additional measures, should help re-anchor inflation expectations. Under these circumstances, the committee has decided to increase the policy rate by 250 basis points to 17%. In addition to the upward policy rate adjustment, the Bank of Ghana will effective 1st April 2022 enforce the following measures in relation to the universal banks. The cash reserve ratio is increased to 12%. The capital conservation buffer is reset to the pre-pandemic level of 3%, making the capital adequacy ratio a total of 13%. And the provisioning rate for loans in the other loans exceptionally mentioned category is reset to the pre-pandemic level of 10%. Now on the CD performance, the local currency has begun to witness some level of appreciation against major trading currency, the U.S. dollar. According to a report, the currency on March 23 traded below the 8 Ghana CD mark at some forest bureaus and commercial banks in the country. In addition to the appreciation, the portal said the British pound and the euro have also experienced the same development. The appreciation of the city has been attributed to the recent hike in the monetary policy rate by 250 basis points to 17 percent as announced by the Bank of Ghana on Monday, March 21. Governor of the bank, Dr. Ernest Addison, on his part, has assured it is implementing interventions that will stabilize the local currency against its major trading currencies in the shortest possible time. Director of Research at the Institute of Economic Affairs, Dr. John Kwache, has asserted that Ghana has run to the International Monetary Fund 16 times for financial assistance. According to him, going back to the IMF for help to address the current economic challenges now will be the 17th time the fund has extended help to Ghana. He bemoaned the rate at which primary commodities were exported on refined. In an interview, he said, even Ghana, I think there was a time for a brief period when Ghana was treated by the IMF and the international community as star of Africa when we were listening to them and adopting their measures. Maybe we did slightly better during the time, but on a long-term basis, we have gone to the IMF already 16 times. If we should go again, that will be the 17th time. On the hike in fuel prices, government has announced a reduction in the margin for petroleum price buildup by a total of 15 pesos per litre, effective April 1. The move, according to the finance minister, Ken Oforiata, is expected to mitigate the impact of rising petroleum prices at the pump covering a three-month period. Unlike in other countries where the hike in crude oil prices and exchange rate volatility are leading to shortages in supply of petroleum pro products, government is implementing measures to guarantee constant supply of petroleum products. To mitigate the impact of the rising price of petroleum products at the pump for the next three months, government has decided to reduce margins in petroleum price buildup by a total of 15 pesos per liter with effect from 1st April. The details are as follows. Bust margin reduced by 2 pesos per liter. Unified Petroleum Pricing Fund margin reduced by 9 pesos per liter. Fuel marking margin reduced by 1 peso per liter. Primary distribution margin reduced by 3 pesos per liter. Ladies and gentlemen, these reductions in margins are expected to reduce prices of petrol by 1.6 percent and diesel by 1.4 percent. We anticipate 
that the measures taken to strengthen the currency will help further stabilize the prices at the pump. Ladies and gentlemen, in addition, the NPA and the Minister of Energy are in discussions with the OMCs to reduce their margins within the spirit of burden sharing. The government will do all it can to ensure consistent supply of fuel and manage the rate of export price increase by ensuring that the Bank of Ghana has access to adequate foreign exchange to support this. So our last story on government expenditure cuts. Finance Minister Ken Ovoriata has announced that as part of the government's effort to reduce expenditure in the country, all fuel coupon allocations will be slashed by 50%. The minister made this revelation while addressing journalists at a press briefing in Accra on March 24. So expenditure cutting measures. Discretionary spending is to be further cut by an additional 10%. The Ministry of Finance is currently meeting with MDAs to review their spending plans for the rest of the three quarters to achieve the discretionary expenditure cuts. Two, these times call for very efficient use of energy resources. In line with this, there will be a 50% cut in fuel coupon allocations for all political appointees and heads of government institutions, including SOEs, effective 1st February 2020. That's it for this week's edition of Bestech on Ghana Web TV. But log on to www.ghanaweb.com for more news and get interactive with us on all our social media handles. On Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, we are at The Ghana Web. On YouTube, we are Ghana Web TV. Thanks for watching. My name is Na Oyokote. Have a great weekend.